I still don't get what's happened to my body. Stay away from me! <laughs> and what do we have here? It appears Red Skull had at least one successful subject during the Emerald Rain project. I've always wanted this kind of power. Always wanted to prove myself. To beat you! Now that I have it, that's exactly what I'm gonna do! I don't understand what's happening to you. You wanted power so you could beat me? What are you talking about? I thought we were a team! Makoto. They appear to be resonating. Who would have thought Hydra had another successful test subject? Final stage of booster pack test flight. Whoa! That's awesome! The new booster pack looks so cool! It's just like Tony to make new toys while Cap and I are gone. It's not fair if you ask me. Where's our cool new gear? Easy, Thor. Tony's notorious for tinkering. Yeah, it's basically Stark superpower. Super being the operative word, Hulk. Now listen up. If my calculations are correct, and who am I kidding? Of course they are. This booster pack will theoretically allow me to travel at speeds over Mach 10. Thus ensuring our advantage over the masters of evil. We all know we're really only here so you can show off. Right? <laughs> something like that. And Cap, before I forget... Huh? Didn't you mention we'd have a visitor tagging along today? Huh? A visitor? I did. Must be running a little late. Time is money, Cap, and I hate wasting either. Yeah, copy that. Go ahead and get started, Tony. Don't have to tell me twice. Friday, open her up. Activating booster pack. Full throttle engaged. Mach 8 achieved. Mach 9 achieved. Mach 10 achieved. Target speed reached. Way to go! <laughs> nice job. Uh -huh. Iron Man, you okay? Friday, what's going on? Systems showing an energy output overload. The booster pack's control system has gone haywire. Stability levels are critical. Continuing at this rate will cause your armor to explode. That's not good. You guys, why hasn't he stopped? Audie! I'm looking into it right now. Uh, that can't be. It appears the code's been rewritten. <sighs> Kid, I highly doubt that any- I've detected the origin of altered code. <laughs> The systems were hacked while it was under development. Let me guess. Iron Man, <gasps> fellow Avengers, how are you? If I'm not mistaken, you have no doubt discovered my little gift. I should have known. You're the one that hacked my code. What have you done to my suit? I've made a few of my own minor improvements to your booster pack system, that's all. And according to my calculations, in approximately 50 seconds, you'll experience the explosive potential of my upgrades firsthand. It will be spectacular. 
I find it rather poetic your own weapon will destroy you. Say your goodbyes, Iron Man. How could I have let this happen? Friday, try to override the booster pack's control. Booster output error. <sighs> Restoration impossible. 30 seconds until detonation. Mr. Stark! I think I can bypass the system code. Using technical act, I might be able to manipulate the sequence. I'll need Friday's help, but I think I can stop it. Whoa, all right. Go on. Oh, no, now that's what I'm talking about. You sure, kid? 20 seconds until detonation. <sighs> Tony, now! We're out of time! All right, then. Adi, let's do this. Technical act engaged! <laughs> Fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten. Friday? Detonation sequence interrupted. Wow. You did it! Way to go, Adi! Don't celebrate just yet. Huh? I only managed to forcibly put a freeze on the control system, which is just barely keeping it from blowing up. But if the system parameters change even in the slightest, then... I'm sorry, Iron Man. Adi? I don't understand you. What exactly do you mean? What he's trying to say is, if I try to adjust my speed in any way, I'll be forcibly entered into a permanent retirement. Oh? So they were able to halt the detonation sequence. No matter, they've only managed to prolong the inevitable, of course. I wonder just how long Iron Man will be able to hold out. Something. Makoto, calm down. How can any of you be calm? If Iron Man reduces his speed, he'll be blown to smithereens all over this desert. And we don't know just how long Adi can keep this up for. You hanging in there, buddy? Yeah, but I can't promise that I'll be able to maintain it that much longer. <sighs> Tony, what's the plan? It looks like we only have one option. And personally, I'm not a fan. The only way to permanently neutralize the detonation sequence is by destroying the booster pack's control device located at the center of the pack. That sounds dangerous. Destroy it how? A direct repulsive blast would do it. But given my current predicament, I can't do that without altering my speed. If we need to break Tony's new toy, I am certainly up to the task. I could easily destroy it with my lightning strike. Yeah, remind me again, Thor, just how accurate is that thing? Accurate enough. Under these conditions, the blast will fry everything within a five-yard radius. Wait, will that hurt Iron Man? This is a bad idea. Yeah, no. Pass, thanks. What we need is someone who can catch up to Tony, then specifically target the control device. That's the gist of it. Thor and I are the only ones aboard this craft that have the capability to fly. But he's going too fast. We'd never catch up. Ahem. <sighs> Aren't you forgetting someone? Makoto? Using Aerial Act, I'm sure I could easily catch up to Iron Man. No sweat. Once I reach Iron Man, I'll give that booster a good whack and save the day. Come on, you really think you can fly fast enough to catch up to him? Without breaking a sweat. Makoto may be onto something. Are you sure? Analyzing Makoto's past ability use, the data is surprisingly optimistic. Theoretically, it's possible for him to catch up to me. Told ya, didn't I? But Makoto... It's a dangerous mission, kid. I know it won't be easy, but we can't just sit around doing nothing. If Iron Man slows down at all... I'm the only one who's fast enough. Isn't that right? Don't forget, my Thunderstrike option is still on the table. Again? Pass. There's no room for error. Makoto's only gonna have a split second to discharge the power. Don't worry. I'm only gonna need one shot anyway.
Makoto, I've sent Iron Man's position to Visco. We're counting on you. You can do it. I won't let you down. Aerial act! Type eight! Fly! Yeah! Yes, that's it! Keep it up, Makoto. You're doing great! Don't stop, Makoto! <sighs> Iron Man's going too fast for him. Come on, Makoto! You can't slow down now! You okay back there? You can do this, Makoto. I know you have it in you. Come on! Why can't I fly faster than this? Makoto! He's falling too far behind. Is this as fast as he's able to fly? No. He's faster. He's under too much pressure. It's hindering his ability to focus. Being responsible for someone else's fate is a heavy burden to bear alone. But if he fails, we won't have any other way of saving Iron Man! Pull it together, Makoto. Show them what you're really made of. <gasps> Something's coming in fast! <gasps> Unidentified flying object rapidly approaching at your position. What is that? I'm not sure, but it's definitely trailing Makoto. It's about time. Hey there, Cap. Uh, sorry I'm late. So, Iron Man already start the show, or did I miss it? Listen, we've got ourselves a bit of a situation. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Why don't you fill me in? Tony's boosters have been sabotaged. We need your help. Makoto, look out! <laughs> Surprised to see me up here? Looks like you're not the only one who can fly anymore. Tell me, how do you like my new wings? I'm stronger than you've ever been. You'll never be able to defeat me now. Not now. There's no time. Bruno, stop! Friday, I've got to turn back. Makoto needs some backup. That action is ill-advised. Changing course will result in a drop of flight speed, which will in turn detonate your booster pack. I'm not leaving him! Don't worry about him, Tony. What are you talking about? Our guest has finally arrived. <gasps> Bruno, back off, would ya? I'm trying to save my teammate from exploding all over the desert. Admit it, Makoto. Admit I'm stronger than you! Wing Dagger! <laughs> Phew, that was a close one. Took you long enough, Falcon. Did you get off on the wrong exit back there? My bad. I got a little tied up dealing with some supervillain along the way. He's the guest you were talking about? Couldn't have come at a better time. You can say that again. Say hello to Sam Wilson, also known as Falcon. Who does this guy think he is? Stay out of my business! You're definitely powerful, I'll give you that. But you rely too heavily on your special abilities during a fight. I'll show you! It doesn't matter where you hide! I will fight you! Bruno, that little brat. 
He's gone rogue. That was a nice catch back there. Thank you. The name's Falcon. Pleased to meet you, Makoto. What's the matter, Makoto? <laughs> Too weak to face me? Didn't know my power scared you so much. You're nothing but a failure! Man, what is that guy's deal? He's right. I couldn't use my power when I needed it most. I failed Iron Man, and the rest of the Avengers. Cap told me your powers are actually pretty impressive. But power alone isn't always enough. Why do you think baby birds have trouble flying their first time out? It's because they're relying on their strength alone to carry them. But it takes more than just strength to fly. You may have wings, but without the wind supporting them, you are doomed to fall every time. Catch my drift? Without the wind to support my wings? <laughs> so this is where you've been hiding, huh? Ready, Makoto? Ready for my true power? No way! You're not powerful! You're just a big bully! Ready or not, here it comes! <laughs> Bruno! That's enough! Let's see how you handle this! At long last, lightning strike! Why don't you mind your own business? Makoto is our business! We are the Avengers! We are there for our teammates at any cost! We risk our lives for each other! That's right! I'm a future Avenger! I have friends who I can count on! Friends who'll support me no matter what! That's it! My friends! They're the wind that'll carry my wings! They give me all the strength I'll ever need! Hey, you're starting to get it, kid. And if you ever need my help, I'm there. I believe it, Falcon. Now what do you say we catch up to Iron Man? Let's do it! Come back! Got us all here for support. Go get him! Oh no! Impossible! How is he going faster than me? That's enough, Bruno. It's time you return to base. I'll only ask once. Look how fast he's going! About time. I knew Makoto could do it if he just believed in himself. Check it out! Makoto's doing it! You okay, Adi? What's wrong? Adi? Well, I guess this is it. You're not giving up already, are you? You know, if this were a food delivery service, my meal would be free. You're gonna owe me a meal after this. All right, Tony, here I come. Come on! I can't stabilize against all this wind. Stay calm. Audio, Focus. Hang in there. What's going on? You need to hurry. He's not gonna last much longer like this. Audi. You can do this! We only need a few more minutes, okay? Now give it everything I've got. <sighs> no! Adi, you have to get up! Detonation sequence reinitiated. Detonation in eight seconds. Seven. Six. Iron Man! This can't be happening. Five. Four. Three. Two. Detonation sequence terminated. Friday, disengage the booster! Whoopsie daisy! Makoto. Iron Man. See, told you I could do it. Not bad, huh? Well, not good, per se, but definitely not bad. Kidding. All joking aside, you did a great job today. I want to thank you, Makoto, from the bottom of my heart. Come on. 
He would have done the same for me. Uh, guys, hmm? don't forget, Adi worked really hard too, you know. He certainly did, and I'm grateful to him for his help. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to run out of gas so close to the finish line. There's no need to apologize. You gave it everything you had. We couldn't have done it without you, Adi. <laughs> that means a lot to me, Iron Man. Code names. That's right. We were thinking maybe you future Avengers would want your own code names, specifically tailored based on your abilities. Consider it the next step in your hero training. All of the greatest superheroes have code names. Uh, how about... Makoto, how do you feel about the name The Extraordinary Falcon Jr.? Their code names have already been decided. Really? Bummer. Hmm. Makoto, from this day forward, you'll be known as Hurricane. <sighs> And Adi, you'll be known as Kodak. Ugh. Oh man, her names are so cool! Kodak, huh? Thanks, I guess. And Chloe, your name is... I must respectfully decline. And why would you do that? I mean, listen, you and Adi were the real heroes today. If I'm getting a code name, I want to have earned it. What's wrong with taking a freebie? Did you hear me? I'll get my code name when I've earned it and that's final! Yeah, and when the time comes, I'll think up a glorious code name. And forget about calling me Falcon Girl or anything absurd like that. Hmm. Well, how does Falcon Lady sound to you? What? I forbid Falcon from having anything to do with deciding my code name! I don't know. Falcon Lady sounds pretty awesome to me. Ugh. You guys are the worst. Koto and Adi have certainly had their fair share of heroic moments, but poor Chloe's starting to feel like she's missing out on the action. She needn't worry, though. Chloe's time to shine is just around the corner. Maybe she can help Captain Marvel deal with her imposter. Is she a new villainous foe or just a fanatic cosplay fan? If that weren't enough to deal with, guess who stands in the way of our heroes who are working hard to find out the true identity of this imposter? On the next episode of Marvel's Future Avengers, Ms. Marvel. Catch the future, Avengers!